Hey guys, it's Drew with Akusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be talking about how coin dealers survive recessions. Stuff that we're seeing in the marketplace now is kind of shaky, and uh, we're going to talk about that in this video. But let's get this video started. So a lot of people have been asking me lately, what's going on with the market? What's how are coins going to be looking in the next six months? How do you feel? How are sales for you, Drew? All this type of stuff really is uh, being asked of me. And all I can do really do is look back in the past, but also look towards the future on a lot of things. So the past few years have been really fruitful for the coin market. Ever since the pandemic, a lot of things have shifted online. A lot of things have uh, taken a turn in terms of uh, an opportunity um, to I don't know, open the marketplace for people to look at online things and get, get coins in, for, in front of more people's eyes. And uh, there's been a lot of changing things in, in uh, you know, just the world around us. And that really is going to be uh, changing ultimately the coin space over a period of time. And so over these past few weeks, I've been getting this question more and more because people are actually feeling and seeing uncertainty in many of the markets apart from coins. And the way that you really can tell if the coin market's not doing too well or if it's not as hot as it used to be is looking at surrounding markets. What's happening in the economy? What's happening to people's costs of living? What is the political climate like? How are, uh, you know, what's the rumors of war, rumors of disease? All of these things really um, weigh down people and give them kind of um, just a you know, what, how they feel about spending their money, how they feel about spending their discretional income. And so a lot of people, when you take all these things into account, really start to harp on and look at and evaluate how am I spending my discretionary income and how much of that is still preserved, especially when we don't have a great stock market right now. We don't have um, just a really constant or steady political climate. We have, uh, increased food and gas prices, a lot of these things are weighing down on people and that ultimately affects uh, the coin market because people are spending their money and uh, you know the way that the choices that they used to make aren't the choices that they might not make in the next six months, right? And so the ultimate question of you know when you're taking a look at everything and it all being added together is how are coin dealers going to survive? How will they continue to exist during times of uh, you know, people clenching their fists with their money, you know, making sure that their money's going the furthest is being spent on the correct things. And that question is ultimately answered by what customer the coin dealer is working with, right? So during this fruitful time, during this great time in the past two years when we've been able to sell to more people, get a hold of more people, uh, a lot of stuff has moved online and not as much as it shows, a lot of people have been broken up into uh, certain categories. We have the novice collector, the casual collector, and we have the serious collector, right? And so uh, the novice and the casual collector in times of good may spend a lot of money because they have extra discretionary income to spend on coins. But the serious collector, I believe, will spend money no matter if it's a good day, a bad day. They're focused on the collection. It's a high priority for them. I wanted to take a moment to ask you guys, if you are enjoying this video, please leave a like. Um, and if you guys want to chime in on what you guys think about the coin space right now, what do you think about the, everything that's happening, please comment that down below and subscribe if you're new. But let's get back to today's video. It's something that they see as a long-term joy and investment into their future. Uh, sometimes the novice or the casual collector ultimately sees it as something that's hot, something that's interesting, something that I want want to pursue for a short period of time. But I feel like the serious collector ultimately is the one that people will be targeting or where dealers will be targeting in the next six months because of the spiraling economy and a lot of things that are just really inconsistent in our world. And so the way that dealers really are going to survive this and do well is if they start to placate and work with um, serious collectors and value what they collect. And that has to do with want lists, that has to do with um, things that collectors are, are avidly hunting for on a, on a daily basis that they'll say, you know what, I can't live without this coin, I wanna buy it, it doesn't matter what's going on right now. And many of the serious collectors that I know 
personally are people that own businesses that make uh, over a million dollars a year. A lot of people that spend a lot of money on coins because they have such an immense amount of discretionary income to where it allows them to be a little bit separated from whatever is going on in the world, right? So say if we're taking a casual collector and we're taking someone that's a little bit more of a serious collector, uh, the casual collector say has $250 a month to spend um, during the pandemic. And we are talking about somebody else that has 10,000, 15,000, 25,000 a month to spend as discretionary income during the pandemic, right? And so as times get tough, that $250 ends up being 100, ends up being 50, ends up being 25 because they have to pay more for gas and food. Um, their life's ultimately being affected by a lot of different things that are happening in the market. If someone uh, is making a lot more money, if someone that I know basically is a business owner and uh, that discretionary income maybe is cut in half, that's still an immense amount of money that someone's willing to spend on coins. And so what dealers are really gonna be focusing on, like I said, is they're gonna be focusing on the want lists of the serious collector. Do they want an upgrade to their SVDB? Do they want more rattlers in their collection? Do they want uh, rare gold? All these things really are gonna be important, especially when you know we're focusing on um, how to survive, how to do well as a coin dealer. And so the question would be ultimately, how is the inventory going to shape up? How is things gonna change in terms of what dealers like to have as inventory? Um, I believe the dealers will become more selective and what they want to purchase, which means that if they're working for five different people that have a big budget, they're going to be focusing on narrowly on what they would like and things that really interest that, that coin dealer. And so the more selective that a coin dealer is, that means the more selective, uh, you know, the more selective that they are, that means there's less inventory out there, but also there is that inverse effect. If people that normally were buying, aren't buying now, then coin dealers aren't going to buy as well. They're gonna to wanna to maintain a kind of a liquid stance um, while there's this time of uncertainty. And why is that? Because there are those casual, there are those novice collectors that say, oh my gosh, uh, something's happening in the market, uh, I better get out now, I better sell, I better do this. It's just like everything else, right? And so they sell, they'll sell cheap, and there'll be coin dealers, there'll be coin collectors out there that'll say, well, yeah, this." extra income that we've been saving, we've been liquid, and ultimately that will end up making them buy inventory that's super cheap. But for the time being, like I said, they're going to be more selective, they're going to be uh, you know, more focused on certain things rather than just buying everything they can to fit as many people as possible. Because if we're you know breaking it down to numbers again, say if I have 100 clients during the pandemic because everyone's buying, everyone enjoys it, everyone thinks this is going to be going up forever. Um, and now I'm down to 15 clients, I'm going to pick more selectively. I'm going to buy coins that I feel will transcend. I feel that will do well during a recession. And so things that I'm normally buying right now and things that I like to focus on are key day coins, coins that will always have a home that people are always hunting for. Another few things would be the CAC coins. Uh, you know, CAC has been shutting down, but also it's just something that delineates uh, you know, a more common coin to a coin that is really ex excellent for the grade, someone that really is serious about collecting, they're gonna be going for those CAC coins. Um, a few other things would be older holders, so rattlers, white labels, all those things we've been talking about in the past few months. I haven't been saving those myself because I feel like during this time, you know, just to pay the bills, you'll make 10% on something instead of making the premium you used to make. Um, for me, I'm just like, why don't I just keep those, right? Why don't I just wait until I feel it's the appropriate time to sell those. And so um, a lot of this is just a waiting game. A lot of this is just trying to understand uh, who you are as a collector, especially uh, you know when it's a little bit of a tougher time to do so. And so why you know why are dealers so focused, like I said, on want lists? It's really because uh, there's so many people out there that want certain coins for their collection, but they don't have the time to do it, right? They have the discretionary funds to do it, but they don't have the time to do it. And so that's where coin dealers are gonna step in and they're gonna really harp and focus on those things because that ultimately at the end of the day is what's gonna pay the bills. And uh, the thing about that you have to understand is that if I'm going through a coin show and someone says, I want an 1885 CC Morgan Dollar MS65, and uh, you know it has to have this these specifications, I'm going to look for that coin 
And when I find that coin, I'm going to have those funds because someone's willing to send me that money right away. I'm not going to go buy an 1885 CC Morgan dollar and MS65 for no reason unless it's an extremely good deal. And so the thing about yet yeah, that you have to understand is that a lot of the dealers want things that are going to be sold right away or um, things that are just you don't see every day. Like I said, rattlers, gold cacks, um, white labels, a lot of things that are super interesting and hot in the market. And so the last thing I want to leave you guys with and the thing that I use as kind of a saving grace for all this, you know, there's a lot of uncertainty, like I said, is that how do you defend your collection against the changing times, right? And what I would have to say is collect on a lifetime scale. And what does that really mean? I don't collect on a five-year period. I don't collect on a 10-year period. I collect on a lifetime period. What do you want to have when you die? What do you, what do you want to have as something you can pick up every day, love, and put back in your safe? All those things are something that's very important that you have to understand about yourself and know when you're collecting. Because you can't let yourself be emotional about buying coins you don't really truly love. And you can't be emotional about the changing times. You can't be like, oh, I want to sell all these things. Oh, the market's crashing, this and that. Buy things because you like them. And at the end of your life, when everything's all said and done, you raise your kids to enjoy coins, those things will be appreciated. Those things will have more value than what you bought them at. And so you, we can't get caught up in what's in the now, but really get caught up in how we're going to see the future. But I hope you guys enjoyed this a little bit of a talk today. I know we didn't show off many coins, but next week we're going to be talking about the TNA show. And we're going to be giving you guys uh, a whole bunch of inventory on our website. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.